Again, the very surface of what's happening. We've got the Tuskegee experiments in the U.S. injecting black men with syphilis and letting them die of it excruciatingly and spread it for 46 years. And that, I only mention that of thousands of cases because that's something that people know about. That's something that's been heavily publicized. But all of this stuff is still going on because the cockroaches in there see us that they live off of as a bunch of cockroaches. And so that's why it's so important to realize they've been caught doing all this evil stuff before. But no one ever held them accountable because they controlled the media. And they made it too complex to get information out. So they set up the Internet to be this panopticon dehumanizing spy grid but it cuts both ways. We are hijacking their system at a level that they can't shut down and exposing the crimes that they've been committing. So, all of you know about secret experimentation, don't you? Secret experimentation has been declassified over and over again. It's been leaked. Whistleblowers have gone public, radiating thousands of U.S. foster kids, killing them. Same thing in the U.S. These are monsters. The stuff that Joseph Mengele did in Nazi Germany, the things the Soviets did in Russia, pales in significance to what the so-called free West has been doing beneath the surface. If you think Savelle and the BBC and hundreds of raped children and necrophilia is anything, that again is only the surface. Bayer Pharmaceutical was found guilty in France, but the documents came out from the U.S., Australia, you name it, for 10 years knowing that Factor 8 blood product for hemophiliacs and others had HIV and hepatitis in it and was a death sentence, and the documents came out that they knew it had it in it and shipped it out because they didn't care. It wasn't because they didn't care. They cared a hell of a lot to take that risk to kill people. Okay, I mean, I'm not, listen, the reason I'm getting up here telling you this, they might kill me for it, but that's fine, because there's no future. Get this, they don't want to just kill the individual. The globalists are killing the entire planet. They are playing God. They are genetically engineering everything. They believe they're going to evolve and merge with machines. They believe we're ugly and bad because they're so wicked and ugly themselves. To them, beauty and honor and innocence is weak and ugly. They want to remake the world in their ugly image, and we're not going to let them do it. <laughs> so that's why I came to England this year, and it's great to be here with everyone today. And it's just wonderful to see you all. We love you as well. And it's really touched my heart to be able to speak to all of you. And i, I got to be honest, it, it's exciting to confront these people and just look at this image, look at this scene. We have crashed their mafia eugenics proto-Nazi party. We have, we, have, we have crashed it, and they know it's the beginning of the end for them because what they had going for them was, oh, no one's spying on us without warrants. Oh, fluoride's not giving us cancer. Oh, there's no elites meeting in secret. There's no Bilderberg group for decades. And now they're discredited. And now because people can admit this exists, now they're going to go look up Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation giving people polio in India under the vaccine program. Now they're going to look up in Africa and Latin America. It's in their newspapers. They've done the test, adding sterilants to the vaccines. People are now going to go look up the 24 Harvard studies where they knew that hydrofluorosilicic acid destroys your immune system, gives you cancer at massive rates, and lowers your IQ. Ladies and gentlemen, you can always see what the globalists have planned for you by countries that they've captured and countries they've controlled. Look at Iraq, over a million dead just since the last war. Look at Africa, where some countries have 40 plus percent HIV rates, and they've done medical studies, and the women have never never had sex, and they say it must have been dirty needles from the vaccines. No, it was what was in the vaccines. And again, HIV is just a cover name for a whole bunch of soft kill weapons they're using, because I run into so many yuppies, and this is important, I run into so many trendies in people who think this is all a big joke, and they say, okay, Alex, there are too many people. Okay. I did go look it up where all these globalists said forcibly reduce population, turn off the food, turn off the water, bring in austerity. What do you want to do? Let humans destroy the earth? 
Meanwhile, the globalists are the ones GMOing and vandalizing the entire genetic code of the planet. Meanwhile, it's the globalists that are committing all of these huge crimes and destroying the earth. So they come to humanity and they say, you're the problem, and then get you to think that you're bad so that you'll give up on your own life force and give up on your own self-preservation instincts so they can have the planet and the entire future for themselves. But I want to tell all the yuppies and everybody else out there, the globalists aren't just stealing the money because they are greedy. They are stealing the resources, cutting off the industries, destroying the economies because they want you under their control to then begin shutting off society. This has only just begun. And the people out there that say there are too many humans, even if that is true, we better come up with plans for clean energy, new science and technology that these people are blocking. Because, because the people that say, hey, there's too many... I mean, I talk to so many professors, you know, grassroots people too, that say, hey, there are too many people. You know, maybe the elite are doing the right thing. And my answer is, do you understand they're doing it to you too? Did you get a memo not to drink the fluoride? Did you get a memo not to eat the GMO? Did you get a memo about geoengineering? Because it's come out, it's come out that Monsanto, and it's come out that all these big companies in their own cafeterias won't eat their own GMOs, ladies and gentlemen. This has all come out. The Chinese communists won't eat their own GMOs. The elites in Europe have clean vaccines for themselves. That's the big ultimate secret, is they're running a giant chemical bioweapon soft kill operation against humanity. And if you come away with anything, it's this. For God's sakes, warn everyone you know. People have worked so hard to bring you this information. And the reason the world is beginning to wake up is a scientific fact of physics. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. 